You are listening to Renewed Day by Day with Pastor Ralph LaRosa. We are talking about the church in these last days, and Pastor Ralph will expand his lesson on eight statements of faith. He will focus on sin and forgiveness. Let's hear from Pastor Ralph. Sin trends in these last days. Now these type of sins have always existed, but they have intensified in these last days. The solution is the same, but many people are not using it correctly. And there's a part of this solution that sometimes is overlooked. Let's look at just some of those in 2 Timothy chapter 3. We'll look at 2 and 3. Uh, the first one has always been around. It's the first sin in all of history with Satan himself. The proud, the abusive. This is a big one in the last days. Disobedient to their parents. I don't see as much in the Philippines as I do in my own country, the U.S. My daughter uh, lived here for many years, and now she's a teacher in a Christian school in California, and she just cannot believe the disrespect for teachers and disobedient to parents, even in a Christian school. And many are ungrateful, and of course they're unholy because they're not connected with God or they're not in fellowship. They're without love. They're, this is a big one, and we're going to really look at this this week and next week. They're unforgiving, and they're paying the price. They're the ones paying the price. It's like hating somebody and wanting them to die and drinking the poison and hoping they will die. That's what unforgiving happens. It's bitterness, slanderous. They gossip, they malign, they fill social media with all this garbage. Uh, without self-control, they just can't control what they say or what they do. Brutal. I've never seen so much brutality in movies and social media, all of these areas. So let's focus in on how to handle. And this is affecting the church in these last days. It is affecting all believers, big time. And it's really hard for even Christian parents to raise their kids. Okay, modern technology. We love modern technology. We use it all the time. We thank God for it. I don't care if they're atheists or deists or Christian. We thank God for their skill and we have this technology. But like it or not, it has increased the greatest problem of people. And the greatest problem of people is sin and its consequences. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. Spiritual death, operational death, and eternal death in the future. So let's look at it. I want to, my wife pointed something out and I want to make this clear. Last week we studied what we call the Lord's Prayer or the Disciples Prayer or the model prayer. And I love that prayer. I love that outline. And our student coordinator, I think he plays it, my message on Wednesday. But I want to just go back to one that we use all the time, and I want you to still use it, and I don't want you to think I'm trying to set this one aside. We call it the prayer agenda. Confession. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. That's all over the New Testament and all over the Bible, and we should do it as believers, and it's a quick way to do it. Confess our sins quickly. Keep short accounts. And then thanksgiving and everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. And that's the way we should start any prayer gathering or whatever. Uh, and then, of course, intercession. This is the outline my wife uses every day, Teacher Cindy. And she has, it's amazing how many categories of prayer she has. And she does this in about an hour as she walks and runs and stuff. And I'm glad she's not here this morning because she would kill me for telling you that. But anyway, <laughs> that's intercession. And then petition. 
1 John tells us to pray for ourselves. In 1 John chapter 5, intercession, Ephesians 6, 18, Paul said, praying always with all intercession and supplication for all the saints and everybody. And pray for our national leaders and the frontliners. This is a beautiful prayer agenda. It's easy, it's quick, it's great for a prayer list by categories. And of course, we've been teaching this with rebound and keep, it, keep moving for years and use it, okay? So when I bring in the model prayer, I'm not trying to do away with this one. There's just some points in the model prayer. If you want to go deeper, if you want to deal with some of these sin trends in the last days, that's what we're going to do this week and next week. So listen carefully. I'm really excited about this lesson. Okay, let's, again, last week we studied the fact that the, uh, the, the model prayer, uh, patrician, or uh, talking about the Father, our Father, talking about his provisions, talking about all of these things, and one of them is the Father's pardon. And this is, uh, usually we think of confession when we use this, but I want to expand that. The Father's pardon. Forgive us our debt as we forgive those who sin against us. Or forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Let's look at it. Matthew 6, 12. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And this is related to Romans 3, 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And 1 John 3, 4. A sin is a transgression of God's moral law. And then this is even, even in Luke 11, 4, it says, forgive us our sins, for, uh, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. I want to define something that bothers some people. For years I looked at this and I said, oh, what's the difference there? New King James uses transgressions. And in that same passage, the NIV uses trespasses. And then, of course, in another translation, it uses sin itself. Another translation, it uses debtors. Why so many different words? And what do they mean? And are they important? And the answer is yes. <laughs> they are important. So we're going to look at it. And all of this is under the title, The Father's pardon okay as part of that model as part of that model prayer thank you for listening to renewed day by day with pastor ralph la rosa pastor ralph reminded us that we can also use the prayer agenda as our prayer guide we also learned that sin trends in these last days join us again tomorrow and hear some more about sin and forgiveness god bless you and stay healthy